I took eight barstool employees out of the office to spend a week surviving in the wilderness. What they don't know is this week is going to turn into their worst nightmare. I'm gonna make them face their greatest fears, but what they should really be afraid of is each other. At the end of it all, one of them will walk away with $25,000, but they're gonna have to fuck some people over to get it. I'm your host, Adam Perone, and this is Barstool's most dangerous game show presented by Mattress Firm. Let's have some fun. Brianna Chicken Fry. I am host of Plan Brie Uncut podcast. I grew up going to campgrounds every summer and I was outdoors all the time. I have never looked to make new friends. I'm on this show um, with the mindset of making enemies. I don't trust people. I have daddy issues and I am an unhinged crazy person. See, this is beautiful, but I know that we won't be in here. We're gonna be in the middle of the woods fighting for our lives. My name is Tommy Smokes, and here at Barstool, I am a challenge competition winner. I would describe myself as smart, shrewd, quirky, weird, could all be said. I really, really prefer to live indoors. I think I went camping when I was in like Cub Scouts. That's probably the only time I ever slept outdoors. So I'm just gonna sit back, let everyone hang themselves with their own rope, and then I'll swoop in later. I don't know if alliances are going to be a thing in this game. But I don't know if so. we're going to vote each other out or what. I'm like so on edge. I'm Sydney Wells and I'm the host of Barstool Outdoors. Relating to the game, I kind of like to take a step back and look at everybody else. See what their personality is like, see what they're good at, see how they're feeling in the moment. And I am not nervous about Barstool's most dangerous game. Mainly because I grew up in the outdoors, hunting, fishing, camping, whatever it might be thrown my way, I've done it. 110% feel like I'm in my element. Okay, so if there's teams, who would you, who do you not want to work with? Tommy. Yeah, no, I said fuck Tommy when I first got here. He can't deal with it, he can't handle it. I think the weakest, Tommy and Jordan. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. My name is Jordan Woodruff. I do two things at Barstool. I do pop culture and then I also have a podcast called Mean Girl with Alex Bennett. I'm very type A and anal, very competitive. I can get a little mean when I'm competing. I'm from Minnesota and I went to school in North Dakota. I feel like a lot of people here think I have no experience. I'm also come across as a little high maintenance. I feel like that kind of comes to my advantage because I want them to think that even though I'm really not that way. I think this is all a tease. That's like how every show starts. It's like they show you the best of the best and then you actually get the worst of the worst. Yeah, so this is what you could say in, but you're not going to. I'm Lil Sass, Lil Sasquatch, son of a boy dad podcast, I'm on the yak. I'm focused on me. If even, I'm barely focused on me. I'm just here to have a good time. I'm not a very competitive person. It was actually quite a relief getting out of high school because I realized, oh, being athletic doesn't actually mean anything in the real world. I, I, don't, I don't camp that often, but hiking and fishing, I mean, I guess I spend a lot of time outdoors, but that's about it. What a great wedding weekend. The setting, the weather, the company, and of course, the uncle and groom. I don't know what that means. <laughs> what does the uncle and groom mean? My name is Vibs, and I am the host of Lowering the Bar. I'm from the Midwest, Indiana. I can survive out in the woods. I've been on camping trips before with the family. I get a reputation in the office for putting people through hell on lowering the bar, but Roan loves to torture people, and that's not his brand. He just likes to do it for fun. I wanna win, I'm a competitor. There could be no money at stake, and I'd be just as devastated losing. I have a feeling we're not gonna be staying here, but I would love to be staying here and not sleeping in a tent. Hi, I'm Billy Football. I am on part of my take in macrodosing. I'm an absolutely an outdoorsman. I grew up partly upstate New York on a farm. I love being in the outdoors, I love hiking. I love turning over a log, finding a salamander, chasing toads, frogs. Me personally, I'm just trying to have fun. I'll compete in the competitions, but winning is not really the first thing to me. I just want to have fun. You brought it, Axe? You know it's wet, so then like the wood that you know, chop on it isn't even going to light. Well, I didn't predict that. I just brought you my axe. You brought an axe? My name is Adam Smith. Smitty, old as fuck. I was unaware that I'm like 10 years older than everyone when I took this. I expect pure chaos. Ron is a legitimate psychopath. I think this is going to be his personal Hunger Games. And I'm all for it. I'm a professional Division Three backup tight end. We compete, we play the game to win, period. 25K buys a lot of diapers. Smitty, welcome to Barstool's Most Dangerous Game Show. Stupid. Would you like a glass of champagne? 
Cheese I'll pass right on the champagne. Thank okay. you, though. Smart. Please, take some, Smitty. It's delicious. They've been so good to us, Smitty. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Should we check out this balcony, anyone? I do want to go outside. I want to go see, I want to go see what's going on. Hey guys. Oh, welcome. Oh, welcome. 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 Ooh, look at that little trot. Hello, and welcome to Barstool's most dangerous game show presented by Mattress Firm. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You can. You can clap. Tommy, a shrewd gamesman, what do you think we're walking into right now? I think this is all a ruse. I think that you want us to think maybe we're staying here, maybe this will be a reward, uh, and I think we'll all be sleeping in the woods, unless we all sleep here on the first night, and then you start to hunt us. Billy, a lot of people say you're a complainer. You find anything to complain about yet? No, I'm just very paranoid about you people. What do you mean, you people? Yeah, I mean, we, <laughs> I have no idea where we are. We were told a different location. I'm just skeptical. Wait, when did I become the fucking complainer? <laughs> Brianna, I know this was a big week for you. You didn't necessarily want to be out in the wilderness in the woods. What are you seeing? Has your tune changed at all? I'm thrilled. I'm actually really excited to be here. I want to destroy every one of them. Who looks the most destroyable? <laughs> Viv. <laughs> Bri, I'm looking at you. Those fake tits, you look the most destroyable. <laughs> <laughs> Vibs, you're no stranger to scary situations. You seem pretty calm. Yeah. Whatever happens, happens. I have no control. The game's in your guys' hands. Billy, is it true that you brought gasoline? Is it true that you guys have a bunch of challenges you're not telling us about? Yeah, that's definitely true. <laughs> yeah. We, all, we, you know, we got, everyone's got an ace in their sleeve. Maybe we have aces in our sleeves. <laughs> what you guys thought was that you'd be sleeping out in the wilderness. And that's not true for some of you. Some of you will be sleeping right here in the mattress for a mansion. Some of you will be able to stay here and unjunk your sleep every single night. You know what junk sleep is? Have you ever heard of junk sleep before? Yeah, this? Yeah, 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 these bags. The bags under the eyes, yeah. We're gonna get rid of the bags under the eyes and we're gonna get to a whole different bag. $25,000 bag. If you can survive Barstool's most dangerous game show presented by Mattress Firm, you'll be going home with $25,000. And we'll throw in a Mattress Firm bed just so you can unjunk that sleep Woo all the time. <laughs> yeah, yes, yeah, clap it up for that. It's worthy of clapping it up for, but <laughs> before all that, I think we should have dinner. I really do think that we should all have dinner together. Doesn't that sound nice? No. No. A, a nice dinner party? I don't know what doesn't sound nice about a dinner party. We're sitting there enjoying the fairs of the land while we're drinking in some fresh air. It sounds lovely to me. Actually, you know, I do think it sounds nice, silly. to be honest. No, he convinced yeah. me, he convinced me. I'm pretty hungry. Why don't you guys follow me? <laughs> well, I just got anxious. Same. Welcome and good evening. How's everyone feeling? I'm worried about ticks, so I'll say it. We had to walk through this field. It was pretty high grass, uh, so high I was a little grass. worried about I ticks. I thought there was gonna be like a bull in this field that we're gonna have to rodeo. I think wow. I'm ready to just like know what's going on. Yeah, can we Do you wanna know what's going on? Yes. Yes. Why don't we all just see what we're gonna eat? God, oh. fucking Madagascar oh. hissing roaches. No. Madagascar no. hissing roaches, yes, Billy, yes. I took off my top to my food and I saw a bunch of Madagascar hissing roaches. I had this roach purring on my hand. I was like, I gotta eat this guy. All right, buddy, I'm sorry about this. So we all pull up our trays and uh, lo and behold, shit's moving. A lot of shit is moving. I don't even know what this fucking- Those they're, are scorpions. No, scor oh, they're alive! <laughs> One moved and I think I screeched like a girl and almost ran back to New York City. 
Sass, why don't you open your? I already opened up mine. I'm good. Well, what was it? I, I didn't get a good. I don't look know at what it. I forget what it was. We but need I, to see I, it for the show. They were moving very fast. I hate bugs. I don't fuck with them at all. I actually put my lid back over because I didn't want to look at them. Oh, oh, they're ornery bastards. Oh, I used to feed my bearded dragon those. Seems like you guys don't want to eat these. So I got good news. You're not gonna have to eat them. <laughs> oh, <you laughs> <was> good. <laughs> I knew that once. Oh, I was freaking You're gonna out. drink them. You're uh, gonna drink them. You're gonna get to drink them. <laughs> Drinking these things rather than eating them was even more of a nightmare. Weird enough, I told Roan back at the mansion, I'd love to have a milkshake tonight for dinner. <laughs> Yum! And Roan delivered. He he made milkshakes. Doesn't that look delicious, Sydney? Mmm. Yum. <laughs> what we're gonna do is a tournament style challenge where people are gonna go head to head drinking against one another and the winner will be able to unjunk their sleep at the Mattress Firm Mansion all night tonight. And I'm talking about a stocked fridge, a beautiful array of lovely foods. You're gonna have a, a roof over your head, a shower, and one of the most comfortable mattresses that's known to human beings. Why don't you pass your name cards down? We'll throw them in a bucket. How's that sound? So this is gonna be multiple times? Multiple times? I don't know, maybe. <laughs> I'm gonna pick a name out of this. Whoever's name I pick will get to pick who they go head to head with in a chugging competition. So whoever you think that you can beat is the person that you should choose. Let's get you all some drinks so we can start this challenge. Okay, so folks, the smoothies you have right in front of you, a delicious blend of mealworms and thick water. Yum. And what I'm gonna do is go ahead and dig in here to see who the first matchup will be. And it's Little Sasquatch. Little Sasquatch, who do you want to go head to head with? Uh, Jordan. All right, oh, little Sasquatch easy. against Jordan. You two, please stand up. You're gonna cheers, and then I'm gonna say three, two, one, and then you're gonna go. You guys about ready? Okay. So Ash, you done with your sip? Suck my dick. Cheers first. Three, two, one, go. Not so bad, is it? Jordan, I think, is dominating Lil Sass. I don't think Sass has had a sip yet. It was like a mixture of dirt and sweetness and throw up all combined. I, I guess I was just thinking, you know, I'll take a little sip, see how it is. If I can, maybe I can get down. Maybe worms actually taste really good. And they don't. Of the most scared people, he might be the most scared. Meanwhile, Jordan is almost finished. Mind over oh, matter, yeah. she's chugging. Oh. Oh. Little sass, take a seat. Jordan will be moving on oh, to the oh, next round. Oh. Wow, Jordan, how was that? It got worse by every gulp. So are you disappointed, Sass? I'm not. <laughs> that was so fucking disgusting. <laughs> I'd rather have that not in my body. <laughs> well, it's not in your body. Jordan, please take a seat, enjoy yourself, and relax while I fish out this next name. Oh, Who will no. it be? Smitty, Smitty, the General Smitty. Who would you like to go against in a nice chugging competition, my man? We're gonna find out who the winner is right here, right now. Billy, let's dance. Wow, <laughs> mano e mano. <laughs> Billy pops his jacket and we have Smitty going into the yard and punching the biggest guy happened. in the face. That's what you gotta do. I knew if I could beat Billy, I probably wouldn't have trouble with anybody else. He would be the top dog. And if I lost to Billy, okay, at least I don't have to go through multiple rounds of drinking this shit. He's not scared. Fellas, you gotta cheers first. It's only right. Eyes. Three, two, one, go. Billy gulping Boy. it down all over his face. <laughs> Smitty did not care at all. He just wanted to see Billy. And he's got a bug mustache all over his face. Absolutely disgusted. And remember, if you heed, oh you leave. Wipe your face, Billy. I took it down fast, took it down quick, uh, went down really well. Um, honestly, it was a lot of protein. I just kept thinking protein, protein, protein. Like, this is Gaines. Billy will be moving on to the next round. Let's get another, a lot of protein, another name. A lot of protein. A lot of protein. Take a victory stand, and then a victory seat. Yeah! Uh, Brianna, who'd you like to chug against? Vibs? Let's do it. Vibs, how are you feeling going into this? Well, you, you've eaten disgusting things before. Yeah, but the only reason my show is funny is because I'm bad at it. So it's really hard for me to do it. Let's see how bad. How about a cheers, folks? Yep, let's do this, Bri. Three, two, one, go. 
Vibs muscling it down, and Brie is disgusted <laughs> right away. I put this to my lips. I try to think that it's something else. I try to convince myself it's like a chocolate shake. It was like sand, but then you remember that it's bugs crushed up in your mouth. The second it hit like the back of my throat, immediate, immediately throw up. Are you seeing this? That she's vomiting, babe. Oh, you're just oh spitting it back in. <laughs> the mealworms were still kind of whole in there. So you're, it's like you got bug legs coming through your teeth and you're trying to get it all down. So you're getting bug legs stuck in your throat, thick water trying to get that down. It's gross. Is that a double <laughs> throw up? I think that might have been a double throw up. I didn't go in for another step. I didn't stand a chance. Unfortunately, after the double fail right there, we're gonna have Tommy and Sydney moving on to the next round right. because Brianna and Vibs have been eliminated. Great Good round. fortune to those two, but we have some fresh round two smoothies for you. And I really think you're gonna like these. Mealworms, maybe some crickets in there, a garnish of a, a beautiful scorpion on top, and Tommy, I'd be remiss if I didn't let you and Sydney go head to head. So why don't you stand up and let's get right into it. Best of luck. Cheers. Cheers. Three, two, one, go. Tommy, getting into it, Sydney looks disgusted. It tasted absolutely horrible. I think the texture is really what got me though. Tommy, not even really chugging. I didn't see the Adam's apple move at all. The biggest surprise to me was how thick it was. So it was just, let's try to get it down and not puke and speed is not gonna be on my side. Pinky up, Tommy, let's make it proper. There it is, Sydney is still fighting. Tommy almost finished, Sydney, do you have any desire? Can you dig deep? I don't know if I have desire. Tommy digging deep, pouring it on his face, and I think that that's a win for Tommy Smokes. Yep. He'll be moving on to the final to face the winner of Jordan and <laughs> Billy. It was a dirt taste, which was fine to me, and then it just tasted like shit. You're a woman of the outdoors, though. Don't you have dirt and shit regularly? Oh, yeah, dirt. I don't taste that, whatever that is. In order for me to win, I gotta drink three, and Tommy's only drank one. Well, you're gonna have to go head to head with Jordan first, and why don't we get the ball rolling on that one? The two of you should stand up, cheers, and, and let's get this thing underway. I'm not gonna go hard. If you, like, don't wanna drink it, let me take my time. What? Jordan, I think you should just beat him. I would love to do that. Okay. Right. Three, Two, one, go. Jordan just drinking right away, just pouring it right down the gullet, and Billy's muscling, and a little bit of a gag. Wow, that gives Jordan an opening, but she's gagging now, seeing that he's gagging. A little bit of a chain reaction. Billy watering at the eyes, the blue ones. Oh, that might have been some throw up. I was taking it down very fast, and there was a scorpion on top. I tried to sort of just chug it down, but it got stuck in the back of my throat. And then you're thinking about like, oh my God, the scorpion stinger is like right on my uvula. And even though I put a ton down, tons came up, man. It was brutal. And that's a disqualification for Billy. Jordan will be moving on to the finals. It's gonna be Tommy Smokes against Jordan to see who's staying in the mattress for a mansion. Why don't we get these last round of drinks out here? Because I'm excited. Are you guys excited? Okay, here we are in the final. Tommy Smokes against Jordan Woodruff. Tommy, you predicting a win? No, nope. Jordan, your new smoothie is gonna have mealworms, crickets, and this time a garnish of three lovely scorpions. Why don't you guys stand up, cheers, and let's find out who's staying at the mansion. Let's go! Woohoo! Three, two, one. Go. Get him, Jordan. Get him, Jordan. Jordan pinching the nose one sip at a time. Tommy Get him, Jordan. pinching his ears. I've never seen that technique before. I don't know how that's gonna help him drink faster. He started doing this weird thing with his ear where he, he was like pressing in on it and he was starting to drink it really fast. Tommy pouring it all over himself. It looks like baby food. It's actually disgusting. Maybe one of the more gross things ever. It seems like Jordan's almost not conceding. Tommy, if I could get an open mouth, show, show that you're all, all the way swallowed. Nothing thrown up, Tommy. Ah. And the winner of the first challenge of Barstool's most dangerous game show is Tommy Smokes, and that will be one <coughs> night of unjunk sleep in the Mattress Firm Mansion. Congratulations, Tommy. Thank you. Clap it up for Tommy. Clap it up for Tommy. That was pretty gross, Tommy. How do you feel? 
really gross. At least I have a toilet to take a lot of shots in tonight. Championship against Jordan, I was in it to win it. I'd come this far and I did not want to lose now. I was thinking, all right, let's win. Let's see what this house is all about. So it was just beat Jordan. I knew I had to get it down. I knew I probably wouldn't get it down that fast, but as long as I could get it down and she couldn't, then I knew I'd be the winner. Tommy will be staying in the Mattress Firm Mansion tonight, but there's more rooms in the mansion. So more people can stay in the mansion, more people should stay in the mansion, more people will stay in the mansion. And you know what, I think the best way to do that is to let you guys decide. So this is something we'll be doing every night. And you're gonna go ahead and circle two names of people that you want to stay in the mansion. We'll give you guys some pens. You can think real hard about it. Then Roan throws us another twist. So turns out the way to stay in the mansion is that we're gonna vote each other into it. Nobody's gonna be able to vote for themselves. Nobody should vote for Tommy because he's already going to be staying in the mansion. But outside of that, you circle two names and those will be the people that are staying in the mansion. When Rowan said we'd be voting two other people in to join me at the house, I was actually relieved that it was a vote in and not just me having to choose two other people because then right off the bat, my allies get exposed. So the fact that it was an anonymous vote, I feel like definitely was helpful. Well, I think I think if there's one night to spend at the campsite, it's probably tonight so that you know how bad it is. Oh, true. Good news, I've tallied the votes, and now I know who's gonna be staying in the Mattress Firm Mansion tonight. But first, Tommy, since we know you're gonna be there, why don't you mosey on over to the Mattress Firm Winner's Bed, where oh, you'll be able yeah. to relax for the entire night. Tommy, go ahead, Tommy. because you earned it. But who will be staying with Tommy tonight? Billy? I have no idea. You will not be staying in the mansion tonight. I knew that. Unfortunately. <laughs> but Jordan, you will be staying in the mansion tonight. Thanks, guys. Fantastic news. Jordan was voted in because she drank so much. Sass, unfortunately, you won't be going to the mansion tonight. Oh, hell tonight. yeah, brother. <laughs> but Brianna, I've got good news. You're not going to be going to the mansion tonight either, nor will you, Smitty, because Sydney, you're going to be able to be spending the night in the mansion. So why don't you and Jordan go join Tommy over on the Mattress Firm winner's well, bed. Tommy smokes with the lady. That's what happens when you get to unjunk your sleep. Tommy smokes and his ladies. All right, people who are going to the mansion, why don't you mosey on up to that car over there and you'll take a luxurious ride. And the rest of you who are headed to camp, well, it's right over there. So why don't you grab your bags and uh, head on over to camp. I puke all over my bag. Is there, is there a trail through here, or we like need a machete? Bye, guys. Are we actually just going? I think Bye. we're just keep keep walking, keep walking. Are we actually? Yeah, go go. Oh fuck. Roan sends us away, kind of into the wilderness, and uh, we approach this campground that's not especially well lit. Uh, none of the tents are pitched. At that moment, I kind of wish I was staying at the Mattress Firm Mansion. About 45 seconds into seeing the camp, I immediately regret my decision. I didn't think we were gonna be in the middle of nowhere. We start digging around through the supplies. We find tents, we find um, fire starting material. And honestly, I was excited to just get after it and start setting up Whoa, silverware? What? Oh, we're so lucky. All right, Billy, enough. End up finding like some food, some weapons, and then we find our camp uniforms, which are horrendous. Do you guys have petite sizes? Home sweet home. It's a lot warmer in here than it is oh. outside, which feels really good. As soon as we got to the Mattress Firm Mansion, I had one goal in mind, and that was to secure an alliance with Jordan and Sydney. They're two people who I think were maybe not as familiar with how good I am at this game. Oh my God, this is comfortable mattress firm. And we got our own jumpsuits here. I like the sound of this. Matching pajamas tonight for the gang for a slumber party, matching and, PJs. Yeah, and face, face masks. masks. I'm gonna pamper myself. I'm gonna make the girls give me a face mask, maybe a tick check in my hair, make sure I'm okay. I might take a bath. I have a lovely bath in my bedroom. I don't wanna get ahead of myself, but it is crazy how much I just win things. 
Rocks. I don't want the one farthest away, because that's, if someone comes out through the woods, they're gonna kill that person, obviously, obviously. There's no way. There's, there's no way that this is dry on the inside. It's kind of bullshit that the other teams aren't gonna have to build their tents, huh? Right? Soaking wet, there was like seven inches of water in mine. I remember I went and I went to grab the top part to put the stakes in, and I touched it and my hand was just fully submerged in water. Is it cool to just forfeit and just like sleep on the ground? Because I think that'd be better. I think that would be better too. This is a fucking pool. Like, I don't even, what's the point of even setting it up? I'm not sleeping in that. This is a full ass fucking bed stain. Do they know about this? I'm taking this. Of course, Billy Football, who I think uh, already packed about $30,000 worth of camp gear, snatched up the cot and took it for himself. Baking a fire was pretty easy. Billy, that smells like straight chemicals. No How part would you of that is fucking fire. fuck off? It's something very primal about just sitting around the fire as a group of people with the only common cause is survival. We have fire! And there's something, you know, almost romantic to that. So when Tommy, Sydney, and I got into the Matchroom Mansion, we decided to form an alliance. Going into the show, Sydney and I had already actually formed our own alliance, but no one really knows we're friends, which is why it's a good alliance. Okay, so, so we're gonna have us three, we'll have our alliance. Yeah, so we should always vote for each other like this, if it's the same format. Yes, Tommy seems to be very good at games. He knows what he's doing, he's strategic, so it seemed to be like he was a good person to have on our side. All right, you guys want to uh, maybe throw this face mask on me? Oh, yeah. Getting to spend the first night with them and just be like, oh, I'm Tommy, let's let's do face masks together. Let's just have some fun and, and sort of show that side and get them to trust me. That was my main goal. What a great team. It's like a thin, yeah, this is a good bonding. It's experience. a thin layer. We did all come to the consensus that Tommy Smokes is a threat. But can we make an honest first night camp packed for the people who actually sleep under the stars, care about the wilderness, about Mattress Firm, about winning the $25,000, that Tommy Smokes does not win this. This guy won the Lowering the Bar tournament. This guy won Barcelona versus America. This guy won Survivor last year. This guy won the dozen. He wins every fucking thing that he's in for Barstool, and he's probably banked close to like $50,000 <laughs> doing this shit. Can we just ensure Tommy Smokes does not take this down? I think Billy Football and Sass would be doing this. This is good for you. Oh, perfect. Put it in <laughs> Tommy's a schemer, 100%. It's been well documented throughout Barstool history. You can't take anything he says at face value. He is a snake. You know what I say? I say we take him, we kill him, and we roast him over the fire. That's fine. Have Billy eat him. I can't hear another Tommy chant. 24 hours ago, I was expecting that right now I would be sleeping on the ground in a tent as it rained and I shivered. Uh, Instead, I'm gonna get a chocolate face mask and then I'm gonna go sleep on a mattress for a mattress. I cannot watch another Barstool production that ends with Tommy played, a, Tommy played a good game. I have a cool little cap on right now. This is the life at the, the mattress for a mansion. Anyone like whiskey? Jesus, Billy. The fuck are you talking about? Can't wait to throw that axe right through your tent tonight. <laughs> It's so fucking wet in here. It is so wet in here. It's all right, if I get pneumonia and I die, you know, my kid owns bar so what are you gonna do? I wanna go home. <laughs> this is so fucked up. I won our first challenge chugging bugs and my reward was I got to wake up well rested with an unjunked sleep in the mattress for a mansion. I think sleep is good, keeps you well rested, keeps you functioning. So getting to sleep in the mattress for a mansion was huge to come into day two with more energy. I feel like my brain is firing on all cylinders. Fire's taking a little to start this morning. A little dew on the campsite, but just trying to get the logs and everything dry. So hopefully the smell of bacon will get some of these fuckers up. Who the fuck? I don't recognize who that is. Oh, it's Vibs. Is that the breakfast Billy? <laughs> yeah. More spam. Spam and eggs, bro. Oh, yeah. I don't know about the other contestants, but I need a good night's sleep if I'm gonna be performing accurately the next day. Because sleeping in those tents, I'm gonna have trash sleep every single night. 
I woke up sweating. <laughs> and I was too scared to pee last night, so I just hoped that I didn't right. pee in my sleep. I didn't, but now I need to go pee. I'm actually surprised I got a couple hours. The way that night was starting, it wasn't looking good. Ah, oh, man. Tired, drank too much, shoulder hurts because I slept on the same side the entire night. So, struggling a little bit, but rather sleep in the woods than eat bugs. The fact that Tommy smokes, Jordan and Sydney got to sleep in beds last night with showers and the whole nine yards at the Mattress Firm Mansion, it stung a little bit. It hit hard, especially when uh, I'm basically sleeping in a fucking puddle. I probably got the most trash, junk sleep of my life. I woke up looking and feeling like I got hit by a bus, and nobody looked like they got a good night of sleep, and we weren't too pumped up for the challenge today. Calm before the storm. I, I don't know what's going to happen. I think we'll have multiple challenges. I feel good about our alliance. I think the three of us are going to run the game together. Tommy, you ready yet? So we're packing up our bags, and we're headed out of the Mattress Firm Mansion. I'm excited because I'm ready to get my hands dirty. Yesterday, I was kind of disappointed in myself. I was more worried about how tired I was and how unfocused I was, and I couldn't worry about the second challenge and what was coming up ahead of me. Welcome, guys. It was good. Tommy, looking well rested. Sydney, wow. Jordan, how are you? Doing great. My friends, welcome back. We're on to day two, and it seems like two groups of people had vastly different nights. Brianna, can you, can you try to put into words like how you're feeling and, and what your night was like? I slept in seven inches of water in my tent. Just you? You were the only one who had to sleep in seven no, we inches of water? Wet. We were all wet besides Billy. It, what, what happened? Why weren't you wet, Billy? I was resourceful. I set up a platform. And uh, I, I slept great. I had a great night. You didn't set up a platform. You found a cot. A and Jordan, it, it seemed like you had a beautiful night of unjunk sleep. Oh, heck yeah. I would say that's probably the most comfortable mattress I've ever slept in in my entire life. Rihanna, are you jealous of that? Yeah, I want to punch her in the face. So the Mansion Squad, the Red Coat Gang, they look great. They have sunglasses on. They're looking us up and down. I wanted to put them all in a headlock. We'll keep our eyes on the prize because $25,000 is still on the line. So even though you guys are toiling, remember, there's something massive at stake right here. Let's see what kind of fun we're going to have today, OK? Let's see what's in the box. What's in the box? What's, what's in, the, in box? the box? Let's see what's in the box. Why don't we figure out what's in the box? Aww. What's in the box? Oh. Oh my goodness. After all the gross shit from the first challenge, I thought the second challenge would be something more physical, so I was kind of excited for it. And obviously, the second challenge was something that I dreaded. It was cockroaches. I don't like cockroaches. I hate them. They revealed the tank, and you just see a bunch of, I guess they're roaches of some sort, crawling all over, golf balls in the middle. Figured your heads were gonna have to go in there, and I really did not want to do that at all. Yuck. Isn't that gross? It's really gross. Yeah, isn't that kind of gross? Very. Wouldn't you rather not do that? Absolutely, I'd rather not do that at all. Well, there's good news for the three of you. You three won't even have to compete in the competition. In fact, you can take a seat on the Mattress Firm winner's bed and relax. I was so pissed when I found out that the people that stayed in the Mattress Firm Mansion didn't have to compete and that they got off loose. So moving forward, whoever stays at the Mattress Firm Mansion will not have to compete in the next day's challenge. But can I give you some more information? Please, sure. There will be an elimination tonight. If you win the challenge today, you and you alone can eliminate someone from winning Barstool's most dangerous game show. Whoever has the power is gonna be able to send someone home. That's big. That is huge. The second we found out that we had the power to eliminate someone when we won the challenge, the vibe switched so fast and everyone started like chatting over shoulders and I think we shortly realized we can't really trust what anyone says. But if you are in the mattress for a mansion, you don't get to compete in the challenge. We don't get a chance to win at this competition to try to send somebody home. So automatically, us three are looking at each other like, what the hell? We all knew there was a catch. And the catch was they didn't have a chance to compete in the challenge and therefore get immunity. Fine. 
fine by me because I was competing for the challenge. Now let's get into how the game's played. So what's gonna happen is two people are going to put their heads in that box right from underneath and you'll find some ping pong balls with your mouth and then spit them into the other container on the opposite side of the terrarium. So whoever gets three ping pong balls into the container on the opposite side of the terrarium, they will be winning that round. And if you lose, you'll be eliminated from the challenge. I knew we were gonna have to insert our, our melons in there at, at some point. I was just very concerned about them uh, dancing down the gullet. Now you're probably wondering who's gonna go into the terrarium. One of the roaches is gonna be the one that'll decide that. I'm gonna give this roach a spin, and whatever name it crawls to first will get to decide who pops their heads into that terrarium. So we're gonna play as many rounds as we need until we find a winner, and whoever wins this challenge will be sending someone home later on tonight. I'm tired of talking about it. Let's give this roach a spin. Oh, he's scurrying. He's scurrying. Oh, now he's moving. Now he's moving. He's scurrying. No, oh, no. he's almost Tommy. Oh, it's Sydney. He's feeling around at Sydney. Jump down. Oh, he touched on Sydney. I think that that's a Sydney. All right, Billy. And then I think Bibbs. So at first, I was going to go with Bree and Sass. But then I decided to go with Billy. So I picked him first. And in my mind, if he won, I would keep on picking him for every single round, mainly because I did not want him to win the competition. Billy against Vibs at the Roach Motel, going head to head. Billy, Vibs, you ready? Yep. Then let's have some fun. Three, two, one, go. <gasps> going in there for the first time, my goggles completely came off. So I'm now a little worried I'm gonna get a hissing cockroach crawling inside my eyeball and planting eggs in my skull. No one's hit yet. Yeah, what if you puke in the cage? Ah, oh, Vibs got one. Vibs. The first one to score. When you're picking up the balls, sometimes they had cockroaches on them. And they would like get in your mouth. Vibs, not the turn at all. Vibs looking for a second one. Billy playing defense. <laughs> Billy football was tough. He played defense. He was trying to block shots. Billy slams his head into the wall. Oh, and that's two for Vibs. Come on, Vibs. Billy okay. not getting Billy's enough pressure no on his spit. <laughs> my velocity on my shots and the aim on my shots was terrible. I don't like the way bugs, like their legs, latch onto you and they like, stick. <laughs> we have fighting off roaches. <laughs> Billy was ready. Billy was playing defense. Billy was playing offense. <laughs> but I had the speed. It was too quick. So that's three for Viv. If I have a nightmare about a bunch of cockroaches, I wouldn't be surprised. So. Vibs wins and Billy is eliminated from the challenge. Vibs, congratulations. What was your strategy in there? I'm from Indiana. We know how to play basketball, even if it's with our mouths. So, offense. Brianna, did, did you find yourself getting a strategy if you wind up in there? Mm, yeah, you got to put it deep in the back of your throat. It's about the mouth work. Because he was trying to do neck work, and Vibs came out saying it's all about the mouth work. It's what that mouth do. Yeah. Well, let's figure out who's going to be up next at the Roach Motel. Let's give it a spin. Whoa, buddy. And where are you headed? And we're gonna call that one Jordan. Jordan, whose day do you want to ruin? I don't want to ruin anyone's day, but I think I'm gonna do Bree and Sass. Bree and Sass, your day's getting ruined. Why don't you step in there? I think Sass kind of plays the little, I'm too cool for this game, but like he actually kind of cares maybe. I definitely was scared that I was gonna get in there and it's gonna be all over my face. Brianna versus Sass at the Roach Motel. You guys ready? Yep. Sass? Sure. Wow, what a vote of confidence. <laughs> Let's have some fun. Three, two, one, go. Sass is in. Oh. And Bree is in. There were so many things running through my head in the tank. Come on, Bree. You guys got this. <laughs> Mostly just like hoping that I don't swallow a cockroach. Oh, oh. Good Bree. Shot, good first shot. shot off. A little more arc on it. I can't fucking reach any of them. So I get in there and standing there and I'm turning around and all the balls are up against the edge of the glass. And I was like, I, there's no way for me to reach these. How the fuck do I reach them? And then I realized once I squat, it got a lot easier. But they also, then you squat and then all the bugs come close to your face, so. 
It's kind of a lose-lose situation for me. There you go, Sass has just unlocked the Come game. On, Sass. For his first shot, oh! <laughs> I remember thinking this is gonna be very easy to make the shots. I thought I was gonna make three in a row, like right off the bat, and then I got in there and I was couldn't shoot them more than two inches. Fuck me. Oh, oh Bree gets the first shot. Sass, bend those knees, brother. Bend those knees. Bree, disgusted. Sass, there it is. Oh, Bree, the two. Oh, Sass might have to play some defense or start hitting some. There it is, there Sass. Sass. There it is. Oh. oh, but Bree looks like she's won ah. and she's out of there. I think I blew him out of the water, so. Fuck you, Sass. I knew Brie was gonna win just because I don't think, I really don't think Sass cares also. If he can't do it in like the first two seconds, he's literally just gonna give up. So Brianna beats little Sasquatch in the Roach Motel. Sass, what problems did you run into in the terrarium? Well, at first I didn't realize I had to squat, so I couldn't reach any of the balls, and then I just couldn't shoot the balls either. Brianna, why did it come so naturally to you? Good with balls in my mouth. Hmm. So what we have right now is three competitors left. Our two winners, Vibs and Brianna, and Smitty, who has not been in the terrarium yet. He hasn't even had a roach on his face. But what's gonna happen is we're gonna spin this once again. <sighs> round and round it goes. And let's find out where it's headed. It's on me. Oh, and it's on Brianna, I believe. No, oh, no. It Yep, and that's it. Brianna will be deciding who will go into the Roach Motel and who's it gonna be? Uh, with these two guys, Smitty wow, and Vibs. Yeah, that makes sense. That yeah. makes sense. Yeah. Smitty against Vibs. Brianna gives herself a bye to the final. Gentlemen, take the positions. So I'm underneath the, the birth canal waiting to go through. And first of all, I'm worried because my uh, lockhead might not fit through the thing. And uh, second of all, I don't want roaches going down my throat. Three, two, one, go. Smitty has emerged. Smitty was built for this game. His big block head, there was no clear line to get into the hoop. <laughs> Smitty is an absolute mountain. <laughs> I probably played the most D uh, out of all the participants uh, because it wasn't by fucking choice with my head blocking everything. <laughs> Smitty, an ultimate rim protector. You gotta get over his big fucking head. Oh, oh Smitty, Smitty has one, one in. And that's oh. one in for Vibs, it's one to one. Oh, this is intense. Oh. And that's two in for Vibs, oh. one more and he'll eliminate Smitty. Oh. Vibs, oh. and that's three for Vibs. That's another victory for Vibs. Vibs, I didn't think had a shot. I thought Smitty was gonna beat him to the ground. My shots weren't falling. I was too powerful in the course. Vibs, another victory in the Roach Motel. You've beaten two bigger competitors. What's your secret? Gotta get some arc to get over the big heads. Smitty, do you take that as an insult? You had a, a pretty good matchup. Yeah, uh, my balls were powerful. They just weren't plentiful. You played really good defense in there, but you have been eliminated from this competition. And now we have our two finalists. And a reminder, whoever wins this competition between the two of you will have the lone ability to decide who is going home from Barstool's most dangerous game show tonight. I wanted Brie to win because if Brie wins, I feel safe. In my head, I'm like, okay, I want Brie to win. We have a pretty good connection, I feel like, in this game. Are the two of you ready? Yes. Yep. Three, two, one, go. Bibsy. Bibs shooting before Bree even gets a ball in her mouth. Oh. Completely oh. undeterred by the roaches oh, and Bree has one in. A lot's on the line. Oh. Bree trying to use the corner oh. as she shakes off a roach. Oh. oh! And it's ribbing her around. And that's two for Bree. One more and she'll be the champion. Oh! Bibs needs to get one. Ah! ah. Roach is oh. falling. Oh my god. I got down early. I didn't panic. I needed to start. Instead of putting up quality shots put up a higher quantity of shots. Vibs has one. Looking to even the score, Bree looking for the win. It's two to one. I was kind of like taking my time, which was stupid. I should have just kept firing them out. Oh. Oh. I couldn't hear the people yelling outside of the tank, so I didn't know Vibs had two balls in. Oh. It's three to two and Vibs wins it. Whoa. Three straight shots wow. by Vibs. Unbelievable. Wow. Oh my 
Whoa. And Vibs is what the champion the of the Roach Motel. And he will be deciding who goes home tonight. It felt good, it felt good. I just wanted to get out of that terrarium of cockroaches, brush them off my jumpsuit. I'm a very competitive person. I, re I was really mad. I wanted to kick them. Vibs, you had a lot of shots late in the game that wound up winning it for you. How'd you get so hot? Speed. It's all about speed. It's not even putting up good shots. It's just putting up a ton of shots. Bree, you were up early. It looked like you were going to be the champion of the Roach Motel. What happened down the stretch? I don't know. They kept popping in, popping out. But also, this might be a good thing because I'm not going to make any enemies tonight. Oh, so maybe it was a strategic loss there. Maybe. I couldn't tell if it was a good thing or a bad thing to have the power to vote someone off. You don't know who has alliances with who, and if you vote the wrong person off, you could be fucking over like three more people, and that's a bigger target on your back. So Vibs is kind of in a tough situation. The three people who stayed at the Mattress Firm Mansion, unfortunately, your time at that mansion has ended. You'll be packing up your bags and going back to camp. And later on this evening, there will be a vote and three people will be selected to stay in the Mattress Firm Mansion. Those three people will be immune from the elimination, which will be conducted by Vibs tonight. What are you gonna do with all this power that you have, Vibs? Wield it irresponsibly. That's the only thing to do with power. That's the only thing a man can do with power, that's right. So Vibs is in control, but there's a lot of discussions to be had, a lot of lobbying to do to make sure that you're one of the people who's voted into the Mattress Firm Mansion tonight, and thus will be immune from elimination. Why don't you head back to camp and we'll see you later on tonight for the elimination. Welcome to the camp. Make yourselves useful, go get some firewood. <laughs> Suck it, Billy. <laughs> so Billy's leading us into the camp. He's thinking he's Mr. Everything, showing us what to do, telling us to grab the firewood. Then we have our cut wood over there, which I'd like you guys to go grab some as your contribution to the campsite. Billy football is a fucking wild card. He's just kind of annoying all around camp. I'm sweating. Yeah, take those off. You don't need those anymore. Thanks, Billy. You're not in the fucking mansion anymore. Take those motherfuckers off. Get these people a jumpsuit. All right, so the firewood? Yeah, we're going to grab some firewood. Did you chop this off with your axe? For all intents and purposes, yes. Don't kick over. Watch out for the strings to don't kick over the tents. Took a long time to set up. Billy thinks he's a big time camp guy, and I'm fine with him thinking that. Yeah. Whoa! So we can stack you up. Oh my gosh, okay. I think he's not playing a good strategy in this game. He's acting like he rules the camp, and I think that's gonna get under people's skin, including mine. I feel like there would've been an easier way to do this. No, because that's how you like carry one... the most wood. Sometimes on these shows, people think, oh, I'll just be the camp person. Here you go, Tommy. Oh, come on. Be more gentle. Shut up. <laughs> to me, I don't care who the camp person is. It, it, some people might think, oh, we should keep him around. If they think that, they're stupid. Oh, this is just too much. There you go. Uh, I did boss around the mansion people when they came here because like we had a good thing going and I hopefully they all f fall in line to what we have going. Oh, gone. His ass just seems to be in his own world. It's not every day when you get to play some wiffle ball. Oh, I didn't really care about anyone going home. Okay, Vibs, let's go get that wood. Yep. Vibs, you want to give me a piggyback ride somewhere? I might not want to win next time. I've been having to talk to a lot of people. Don't like it, a lot of one-on-one -on -one meetings. All right, so obviously tomorrow, tonight's elimination. I'm curious what you're thinking. Like right now, do you know what you're gonna do tonight? Leaving the challenge and heading to the camp, I knew in the back of my head that I have to eventually pull Bibs aside and just know what he's thinking. I've got it narrowed down to, like he said, like two people. Can we talk about those people? People are trying to figure out where I'm at, what I wanna do. Two targets that I would wanna send home are Tommy Smokes, Billy Football. Okay, that's mine too. Yeah, I'd say Tommy and Billy are the smartest or the strongest left. Honestly, the team should be thanking me, the whole camp, that I'm doing this and they don't have to. How was uh, your chat with Sid? Good. Good. We talked about fish. Good. Bullfrog. Did you talk about the, uh, the biggest fish in the pond who's exerting authority? And that fish is might a, need to be caught. That fish is a bottom feeder. What if we get a long stick and like kind of do a tie at the end of it, and then huh. so we can you can like reach out with your long. Yeah, yeah, okay. understand. There's a stick. There's a stick right here. Is it big enough? Yeah, it's pretty big. Like long? Yep. Go we'll get some wood. Yeah, let's get some wood. Vibs and I, on camera, off camera, have a very good relationship. I trust Vibs when he. 
uh, approaches me and, and, and says stuff when we talk privately. I'm not giving anyone a definite answer. Yeah. I've said it's between Tommy and Billy, the two toughest people. You have to make sure that Billy isn't voted into the mansion. 100%. Some way, somehow. 100%. Like, who three do we vote in? What about Jordan, Sydney, and Bray? And Lil Sass. Well, what about three Jordan and Lil Sass? Do we have a lighter? Sometimes you can light it up and yeah. when it really? pops up. Yeah, I don't hate that. Because I don't I don't want to have Sydney, Jordan, Bree all together talking, you know what I mean? I say Jordan Lil women. Sass just because Will Sass. Yeah. They'll start getting on the same They'll cycles they're... and sh we're done. They already are. What's the worst that could happen to like when you get glass really, really hot, just explodes? You're talking <laughs> shit. <laughs> Holy shit. Are you okay? I think Sash oh. just stabbed himself. Oh my god. Hey Tommy. Tommy, I need you to give me a tick check. Come into my tent. You're not in charge tonight. I'll give Vibs. I'll tick check Vibs' asshole if he wants it. I'm ready. Vibs, you want to take a walk? Yeah, Tommy. Show me around over here. Wait, what the fuck? Who's letting them go for a walk? Smitty. Billy, go out for them. To make this less suspicious, let's walk away holding hands. Yes, yes, yes. So they think we're like on a date or something. Oh, I, to... oh, I oh, think, I don't I think like Tommy's that. good. All right. Tommy's going to give sexual favors to Vibs. I know my name's been brought up tonight. Everyone wants Fuck. me out. I'm gonna give you a few reasons why you shouldn't take me out. Number one, to me, the key to this game is to keep people around who will not vote you out, right? Yep. Because basically that's the only way to stay alive is to make sure you're on the good side of the winner. I feel okay right now. I mean, I don't love that I'm going to be on the chopping block. I do trust Vibs. I trust that Vibs will take Billy Football out. And the most important thing is we can't have a split vote tonight where votes go everywhere and Billy Football ends up in the house. Because as long as Billy is not in the house tonight, I do think he'll be sent home. If Vibs wants to take me out because I'm a great player, I'll tip my cap to him. I will not vote you out. You have my word. I think we can agree we have a good enough relationship outside the game. That Tommy, I think we are both men and our words are all my we have. My word is my bond. What do we think they're gonna do? What do you think we're ta they're talking about? Yeah, if Tommy wasn't involved with Barstool, he would be chief of staff of the United States. That's how much of a snake he is. <laughs> the only person who needs to be eliminated is Tommy. Vibs agreed to that last night. If Tommy does not get eliminated, that's gonna make Vibs look really bad because if he eliminates someone from the camp, that whole trust we built around the fire has been ruined. And I think everyone will turn on Vibs. And that might actually allow Tommy to run wild with his backstabbing. If I go tonight, and let's say Billy Football wins tomorrow, he takes you out because yep. he now looks at you as his biggest competition. Um, I think personally, if I was in your shoes, I would take Billy out tonight. Yeah, I think you and I are strong competitors. And I think that scares a lot of the people in there. Don't tell Vibs this. Vibs is the next person who should be eliminated. He's also a wild card though, so I have no idea what he's thinking at any time of the day. Don't tell Vibs I said that because he might eliminate me. <laughs> no, I'm not telling Vibs anything. I don't trust him. I'll be honest, I think the cam people are fine. You think it's one of us My in the red? Yeah, um, so do you think it's one I of think, us? I think if I had to choose right now, it'd be Tommy. Okay, so what if it wasn't Tommy? No offense, you guys might throw off the feng shui of the camp. I'm voting for you guys to go back to the mansion. Billy, you have a spider on you. I don't care. <laughs> I would like Vibs to send home probably Billy over Tommy because I do have an alliance with Tommy and I think he has my back at least for a few more challenges. If I did win, I would go with like the overall vote and it, I would have voted Tommy out. If Billy advances tonight, he takes either me or you out tomorrow. Yeah, he's not he's not the best competitor. I mean, he looks like he's great on paper right. and then something goes horribly wrong and fuck! You have my word tonight. If you don't vote me out, I will never send you home the entire game. That's a God's honest promise. Okay, all right, cool. I'm not gonna shake your hand because everyone's watching. Yep. Welcome back. What's up? We were having yeah. sex. We just... We knew. Tommy, we need you to go collect kindling. No, I'm all set. Maybe you want to get some kindling? At the very start of this game, I've always said the Vibs is a wild card. You never know what's going through his mind. He has a pretty good poker face, I'd say. I don't know anything about Vibs. We have the the weakest relationship out of everyone here. I don't trust him. I don't even know if he likes me that much. I can't read Vibs at all. I have no idea who he's gonna go for. I would have three guesses to who would go tonight. Number one, Billy. Two, Tommy. Three, Sydney. No, I, I don't think there's any chance that I go home today. I asked Tommy to gather some kindling, and he just told me to, like, fuck off. So I don't appreciate that, and I hope Tommy gets eliminated by Vips tonight. For my game, personally, Billy Football is the most dangerous player, which is why he needs to go home today. To be honest, I didn't really know at the time, but now I think I've definitely made my mind up. Come on down, friend!
friends. Come on down. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome, 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 and welcome. Viz, my friend, grab a seat. Ooh, yummy. Bree, some mud for you. Yeah. Jordan, how are you? Good. How are you, Ron? Good. Sydney, Tommy. Good afternoon. Welcome. Welcome, my friends, to the elimination arena. What's going to happen is this. We'll have a little bit of a powwow, discuss how the day's been going, how everyone's feeling and relating to one another, and then we'll have a vote. And the vote will determine which three people will be staying in the Mattress Firm mansion tonight. After that, Vibs will be deciding who will be going home from Barstool's most dangerous game show, presented by Mattress Firm. It was an interesting day. There were challenges, there was a camp, you spent time at the camp. Billy, how was your time at the camp? I love my time at the camp. We went fishing. Um, it was a good time. Catch anything? Ah, not really. Oh, that's too bad. Who'd you go fishing with, Bill? Sydney. Sydney, how was it? Caught a bullfrog, that's about it. Oh, wow. With my hand, though. That's still pretty cool. I guess. Tommy, how was your time at the camp? It was nice, it was nice to get outdoors, to be one with nature. You know, I'm a city boy. Stuck, stuck in my apartment building, so to be one with God's green earth, it was really nice. Really oh, made me yes. feel fulfilled. What'd you do while you were at the camp, Tommy? Hung out, talked to some people, uh, carried some wood over to the fire, and shared some memories. Talked to some people. Jordan, who, who was Tommy talking to? Talked to Vibs a lot. They held hands for quite a while. Concerned us all a bit. Yeah, we weren't talking. We just went on a walk holding hands. 2022, Jordan. So <laughs> come on. Y'all were just holding hands. What? What are his hands like? Clammy or, or? They're clammy. They're clammy. Clammy, but very soft. Yeah. Really? Yeah. That's from never doing any hard work in his life. Bree, what was it like at the camp? Did Did you notice any gameplay going on from the people around you? Everyone individually was taking Vibs aside and trying to sweet talk him. I noticed that. Did you fall into that pattern? No, I didn't. I talked to Vibs a little bit earlier. I didn't feel like I needed to sweet talk him too much. Sass, is that your perception of everything? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a man of few words. Is that a strategy? In a way. How so? Keep people off my back. Are you worried that people know your strategy now? You just told it to them. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, maybe. You're, you got it out of me. You're such a good host. You mean that? <laughs> yes. Smitty, you're a perceptive guy. What have Am you I? noticed about the relationships at this camp? I think there's a lot of tomfoolery afoot. A lot of shenanigans. A lot of things going on behind people's backs already. Who are the two strongest players in this game? In this game, right here, right now, me and me. Wow. Hmm. Hmm. Sydney, do you agree with that? Who are the two strongest players in this game? Mm. You're gonna put me on the spot like that? I'm putting you on the spot like that. Uh, I could see Billy, potentially Bibbs. So if you see someone as a strong player, what do you want to do with them? Do you want them in the mattress for a mansion? Do you want them eliminated from the game? How do you deal with a strong player? I keep that to myself. Interesting. Tommy, how would you deal with a strong player? I think it depends on who the strong player is, you know? You gotta look at everyone individually. Who do you trust, who do you not? Jordan, what's your trust levels like? Who do you trust the most of this group? I only trust myself. So you don't trust Sydney. You guys have been thick as thieves. Rowan, in this game, you only can trust yourself. You think that Sydney and Jordan have an alliance? Oh yeah, they're sharing scrunchies. You don't share scrunchies and not have an alliance. I saw the scrunchie pass yeah, off a couple yeah, times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bree, have you shared a scrunchie with any of these women? I'm a lone wolf. Why can't Bree get a scrunchie? Fucked up. She has a lot of scrunchies. I did bring a bag of scrunchies. Is that what's in the bag? <laughs> All scrunchies. Holy shit. Mm -hmm. That's a ton of scrunchies. Mm -hmm. Sass, if it were up to you, who'd be going home tonight? Tommy. Why? So that seems what that seems to be what the pack wants. You think that the pack has come to a consensus, Tommy? How does that make you feel? I don't know if that's true. You know, it really doesn't matter what the pack decides. It matters what one person decides. You think that you've done enough to sway Vibs? I talked to Vibs today. I trust Vibs. Does Vibs trust you? I think so. What have you done to earn Vibs' trust? I said to Vibs, I won the first challenge. If I go home the next night, that might set a bad precedent for future challenge winners. Vibs wins tonight, maybe he goes home tomorrow. Billy Football, 
Describe the lay of the land as you see it, because you've been awfully quiet and awfully calculating. Tommy, no offense. Uh, we think you're a snake, a lot of us. And that has nothing to do with you chugging uh, blended up crickets and winning. Snakes do do that, but you're talking about his characteristics as a human. Yes. No offense, dude, you just don't have a good track record. I mean, I'd, I'd argue I do have a good track record. People I've given my word to in the past, I've gone far with in the end. Come on. That's I mean, the truth. This is, this, is just, this is just on record history. And it like, would prove me correct. For example, Tony, if, if you were to try to convince me to trust you, well, how would you convince me? I don't think you would trust me. Because you're not to be trusted. Because we don't have a trusting relationship. But like, we don't really have a relationship. Exactly. I'm really just speaking the words because I'm not, someone who, you know, speaks in tongues, but like, this is the vibe of the group. I'm just the one with the balls to say it to you, to your face, under the lights. I'll say. You know I don't trust you? Because I asked you if you'd like to pick up kindling for the tribe, for I the don't camp. like to do that type of stuff. And you weren't willing to put in for all of us when we would put in so much. And that's just my last Last word. So you asked Tommy to pick up kindling. I picked up wood. I don't know what kindling is. Is it an e-book? Well, I told you it was small sticks, stuff that you can like fire easily with. And your resistance. It was, it was to that raining. Was, it was very. We weren't going to start a fire. In it the was rain. dry at that point. It was more it was for a, tonight. The rain was in the forecast. If you wanted to join the tribe tonight, that would have been a good. You know, I'll tell of character. Camp. If I'm there tonight, it would have been a I'll tell help, of character. I'll help build a fire tonight. Well, that's not, I mean, the, it's, the ship sailed. I feel like you're speaking for other people, but you're kind of protecting them. Why? Um, honestly, I'm just protecting them because I was told things in confidence and I'm not trying to expose anybody. What things were you told in confidence? Exactly what I said before. I mean, Tommy, I, you don't have a good track record. I'm sorry. If you're a changed man, I don't know that. Uh, what, what have you done to prove that you're a trustworthy person? You're kind of a wild card. You're a wild bill. You could turn on anyone at any point. No, I, I'm just here for fun. That's kind of a wild card move, though. I know, but like, I, I just like camping. <laughs> like, realistically. Checks out. I'm like really excited to make bacon and eggs tomorrow on the fire, wake up early. Tommy, will you be satisfied with anything less than a win at Barstool's Most Dangerous Game Show presented by yeah, Mattress Firm? Yeah, I think it'd be, I, I don't expect to win this. I'd like to last, I have the competitive drive, but winning is the most important thing, but as long as I feel like I played my best game, I'll be satisfied. Ready to make some votes? Well, here's what's gonna happen. Everyone is going to vote. You're going to go to the Maison du Danger, or Billy, the House of Danger, over here, and you're gonna cast your vote for the three people that will be staying in the Mattress Firm Mansion tonight. And whoever stays in the Mattress Firm Mansion tonight will be one step closer to this sweet cash. You forget about this? Yes, Mitty, look at it. I'm an honest man. An honest man. Vibs? Why don't you take that walk and make that vote? Good luck, brother. Tommy, are you like, are you gonna betray Vibs? No, I'm not. I think Vibs knows that. I think Vibs trusts me. I hope. Sydney, why don't you head down to the Maison du Danger? Cast your vote. Jordan, do you, do you think that Sydney would take you under her wing as an outdoors woman at the camp? I think so. There's a picture of you back there. That's actually my great-great-grandfather. He's dressed in a general outfit. What war did he serve in? All of them. Whoa. Bree, why don't you mosey on down there and cast your vote on who will be staying in the Mattress Firm Mansion tonight. Tommy, time to cast your vote. Good luck, my friend. Ladies, what was it like spending the night with Tommy Smokes last night? A lot of women's dream. Well, to be honest, he was too busy in the toilet the whole yeah. night. Yeah, he sat on the toilet for a long time. Bugs didn't sit well. Sass, why don't you go put your vote in at the Maison du Danger? So little Sass is, is obviously playing a game, right? I don't think so. I don't think so. No, not even playing a game? <laughs> no. Nothing calculated about what Lil Sass is doing. Vib says he's the Joker. He's the Joker, baby? Folks, don't you kind of think that Smitty deserves it in some ways. He's a family man, he's a father, he's a husband. Jordan, why don't you make your vote? 
How hard can it be, though? You're circling names. This order is making me nervous. Why is that? Because what if like everyone made an alliance behind my back to vote me out or into the mansion? Well, we only have one person left to go circle the names. And that's our friend Billy Football. All right, he's gone. What, what's going on with Billy? What are we thinking about Billy? I mean, the man was walking around the fire howling last night. <laughs> he's out of his mind. All right, folks, all the votes are tallied. We're about to find out who is going to be staying at the Mattress Firm Mansion tonight. Which three of you will be immune from elimination and who's a little bit closer to this cash? I'm gonna go tally the votes and I'll be back with some news. The votes are in. The votes have been cast. And we're gonna find out who will be staying at the Mattress Firm Mansion tonight. Ready? Billy, you will not be staying at the Mattress Firm Mansion tonight. Vibs, why don't you go ahead and switch places with Sydney. You'll be staying at the Mattress Firm Mansion tonight. Sydney, so sorry. You look really handsome. Brianna, why don't you go ahead and switch places with Jordan? You will be staying at the Mattress Firm Mansion tonight. And finally, Smitty, you will not be staying at the Mattress Firm Mansion tonight. Sass, Switch spots with Tommy. You'll be staying at the Mattress Firm Mansion tonight. Give him hell, brother. And so this is the camp. Vibs, you're safe, and your next move is going to be deciding who's going to go home. Who is going to be off of Barstool's most dangerous game show presented by Mattress Firm. Everyone, this is your last chance to make your appeal to Vibs. Tommy, I feel like this is a big one. I feel like a lot of people have a target on your back. They do, but I feel like I've defended myself a lot tonight. I've talked to Vibs earlier. I trust Vibs. I think it's in his best interest to keep me around uh, at least for tonight. Why is it in his best interest? It's like I said earlier, if it's a precedent where you win a challenge and you go home, that could be a problem for Vibs tomorrow. Strong gotta protect the strong. Billy, what do you have to say to Vibs? If you eliminate me, it's probably for good reason. It's all up to you. Well, Vibs, it's on you. The time is yours. Stand up and look whoever you're about to send home directly in the eye and then bury them. The floor is yours. Uh. I'm a competitor, so I can respect competitors. There's a lot of strong competitors over there. But at the end of the day, it comes down to trust. I trust Tommy Smokes. I trust Billy Football, but I don't trust Berserker Billy. So I'm gonna have to send Berserker Billy home. Wow. Billy Football sent home from Barstool's most dangerous game show by Vibs. His worst fear's coming true. How does it feel, Billy? Ah, uh, whatever. What? It's not whatever, yeah. It feels like the most damning thing is that you're gonna be seized away from the camp. I know, that's kind of bullshit. Like, I have to go home now? Well, the wrinkle is this. Billy, you won't be going home. You will be involved towards the end of the game in voting on who wins the $25,000. So anybody that's double-crossed you now could be in the line of fire towards the end when we get closer to revealing who gets the $25,000 and the mattress firm bed. Billy, are you about to cry? No, dude, this sucks. I don't even get to compete anymore. You don't even get to compete anymore. What the fuck? Ah. Vibs, how does it feel knowing you did that to a man? Had to be done. It's all about the competition. Billy's a competitor. At the end of the day, one person has to live, one person has to die. That's nature. It seems like it, 
even the way you talked about it, it came down to two names. Billy Smokes and Tommy Football. Is that what I said? No. Oh. Billy Football and Tommy <laughs> Smokes. <laughs> That's what you said. Oh, I don't know if you could do that, Bill. <laughs> Fuck fire safety. <laughs> Dude, what? Why? <laughs> Talk about, Billy. A ask the questions. You're allowed to ask the questions. You're allowed to feel these emotions. Um, like what, like, like what happened? I think you're physically the strongest person in this game. And when it comes to making an alliance, I don't trust you in an alliance. Dude, this fucking sucks, bro. Billy, unfortunately, you've been eliminated from Barstool's most dangerous game show. We will see you tomorrow night as you will be part of the council who will be determining who wins the $25,000 at the end of this beautiful competition. But for now, I'm gonna have to ask you to get the hell out of here. You guys have no fun without me, just saying. Agreed. Vib, Sass, Bree, the three of you will be staying at the Mattress Firm Mansion tonight to unjunk your sleep, and you will be immune from the challenge tomorrow Please go have a beautiful night of sleep on one of those Mattress Firm winner's bed. You've done well. For the camp, the rest of you will be leaving as well. There'll be three new people in the camp. Smitty, show them the ropes. Woo! Got a new alpha leader in town, boys and girls. A new alpha. on the next episode of Barstool's Most Dangerous Game Show. I genuinely felt really bad for Billy because he's an outdoors guy. I feel like this was his show. He was really excited for it, and he's the first one to fucking go. He's too fucking nice, these people. Oh my god! What a sociopath! Welcome, friends. Welcome back. Is that blood? Let's have some fun. Oh! Oh my god. Judy, fuck! Oh my god, it's thick as fuck!